Okay, chat. Um, yeah, I don't know why they're shutting down the WoW server, but I'll just watch this then. Oh, it's true. I should green screen myself. Jeez, good idea. Sorry. Hello. Background removal. Resident Evil. Gloomwood opens the gates to the Underport District in early 2024 with more early access updates to follow. Newegg is, of course, one of our favorite places to oh, buy upgrades. Trailer, and later in the same. show, we'll be sharing some recommendations in our holiday wish list. But like we've also partnered with shit. Newegg to build a. Oh, wait, am I reading this teleprompter right? We, we bought an egg shaped computer. One new egg. Hmm. Wait, what? Hmm. These graphics are amazing. Guess this is the egg. Oh. See, so you found my egg. What am I watching? Excellent. What the hell is it? Pretend you're sitting on his lap. Head to pcgamer.com forward slash egg to watch the full video. Doesn't really work, man. My chair in the, the background. The next game on the Surely. most wanted would probably rank higher if we knew a single thing about it. I mean, it's a decade after the release of Grand Theft Auto V, and GTA Online is still clearing half a billion dollars every Chat, year. GTA 6 trailer, here it comes. How the hell do you follow that? And how scared should we be of the answer? Let's hear from our voting panel on how GTA 6 earned this position in our countdown. Oh shit, GTA 6 trailer, cool. Number 13, Grand what? Theft Auto 6. Wait, what's going on here? They're actually gonna talk about GTA 6. s -Fund, right there. Yo, what's up guys? My name is s -Fund, and I just wanted to share with you guys how incredibly excited I am for Grand Theft Auto 6. My personal pick for the PC gaming show Most Wanted has to be Grand Theft Auto 6. Why does it not ask point, me it to do been this? About 10 years. 10 years since Grand Theft Auto 5. Storylines are always absolutely fantastic. It's um, one of the I beat greatest GTA video game franchises of all time. I'm excited to dive into a new immersive world, new cities, new surroundings. Just the amount of things that you can do in this open world sandbox and whether you just want to screw around. Rockstar recently acquired CFX, which is the company that own 5M. And that is yep. where NoPixel is hosted. And NoPixel is one of my favorite GTA roleplay servers. Spencer's I hope you guys back. are excited as I am. I think Rockstar has a lot of uh, hype around it right now. And very excited to see what it holds. I hope you guys enjoy it when the game comes out. Really? They just tease us that and then move on? I would hate it. I think I've seen this before. This is not a world premiere. Eat him! How did you actually expect the trailer or what chat? Are you retarded? Yes. What the fuck? I was. <laughs> they expected a trailer! This is stupid. <laughs> Idiotas. This is your trailer. This is GTA 6. Wow, sir is up no. again. They are not even down yet. We get a trailer at next game awards. Okay. But that segment was so lame though. They like you just see GTA 6 and then all it was was two streamers talking about how excited they're about GTA 6. Like at least give us something. No offense to Westfin. The land uh, on the brink of collapse. Kingdom Come 2. A land in need of a leader. Me. This is uh, Rust, but medieval. It's another survival game. Is it single player or multiplayer? That's really the only question here. Uh, 
Valheim. Well, right. Look for that. Top of the Crown's tyranny in Valrite, coming to early access in December. Our next game rounds out a killer combo of high-profile fighting games that have hit PC <coughs> hey, in the last year. Hey, you've for one year, man. My Ready? mom is making pizza right Fight. now. Nice. Very nice. Pineapple, Saplikes, Dogmanac, and Pymo. Thank you. Dogmanac of two years. Number 12. Ooh, Tekken 8. This ain't Battletoads. Cheeseburger stick. Now your time to shine. Shine. Eight. Like it's you're been bouncing. more than six years since Tekken last entered the ring on PC. Ruffle mouth boobs. And ready for a rematch with revised fighting six mechanics. Six years going to fall in on aggression and 32 characters to try before you settle on the guy with the left Gang. Head. Tekken 8 weighs in right in the middle of our most wanted list. Good, thanks for the 30 dancing. months, man. Welcome back. We're moving forward in our rankings with a sequel to a Metroidvania favorite. We're talking, of course, about Hollow Knight's Silk Song. Oh, hey, Frankie. I uh, <gasps> think you could Day use nine. a backup on this one. Uh, hi, Sean. How did you do that? Well, you know, it's PC and show tradition to have us, like, orbiting in a space frigate or in an underground facility, so, you know, I just started calling around. You video called a World War II bunker. I did. My powers are great, and so is my excitement for Hollow Knight's Song. I love Day Song. 9. Vlogs, 35 months prime, welcome back. Number 11, Hollow Knight Silk Song. So this isn't even like, it's just a list of the most anticipated games to come out. Allow me to share three reasons why I'm excited for Hollow Knight Silk Song. First, the graphics, I adore the original How Hollow Knight. How's GTA 6 not higher up? giving me more, but elevating it Who made this detail list? and layering. Two, combat in motion. The original Hollow Knight somehow was able to blend super fast snappy movement with slow, chunky, souls-like combat. And if you look at the Silk Song trailer, you're seeing all sorts of new moves that allow the you to council? dance around your enemies and jump around the environment. It makes me really excited for the second to second experience. But the third and the biggest reason is exploration. Team Cherry are I masters saw of I saw There good. would be a ledge in the original Hollow Knight that when I finally Let's was get. able to get there, there would be hours of content behind there, or new bosses, or new enemies, or entirely new zones. And it's that exact combination of a beautiful game that's fun and second to second gameplay that rewards my exploration. Oh, I literally can't wait for Silk Song. Silk Song. Ha, good Thanks one, Mr. to your Silk Song expertise, Sean. What began as a spin off expansion to Team Cherry's beloved Metroidvania is now one of our most sought after sequels. Assuming it leaves hiding someday. Before we move forward with more previews, we want your input. And we're mm. offering a PC Zine reward. Nom, nom, nom. Follow the QR code on screen and complete our PC Gaming Damn Show fuck, your survey. And, and you could you win a custom AC your your Mirage your gaming PC powered by an Intel Core i9-14900K CPU. That now, tells me nothing. Oh, well, I don't know anything about technology. We know that much. World premiere. He did the thing again. Have been reported missing. A male and a female were last seen heading to the forest two days ago. A teen has not been seen since September 24th. We had a chance to speak with the mother. It's been three years since he's been missing. There are a lot of rumors about the lake. Do you personally believe that there is some sinister hiding in there? No, of course not. People love ghost stories, but in the end, they're just stories. Just stories. Just stories. Just stories. Just stories. Looks generic, but good so far. Real life footage too. This happened in real life chat, and they're they're using the actual evidence material in the game. Found like drawing Look fine. Okay. What Looks mind playing that if it gets good reviews? Mad finger. This is Arma. Four. Five. Four. He didn't say world premiere, so this is not going to be something too crazy. 
Wait, it's Tarkov. Isn't that Tarkov? The UI looked just like Tarkov. Maybe not, actually. I don't know. Maybe it's Arma. Gray Zone Warfare. It's neither. A little escape from Tarko, maybe? Through yeah. the bits from Bone Man, it says, Did they seriously just put GTA 6? That doesn't even have a trailer or barely even announced in list with other games, so you can hear some fucking nobody's talk about it. But first, yes. a fresh look at the gun food gameplay of Spine. Spine. Redline, as your combat AI, Hello. I have to warn you that pressing the wrong floor may lead to unexpected consequences. Who the fuck are you? And these new Pixar movies go hard. No elevator this time. Is that TPS? This looks like the kind of game that releases for like 70 bucks and instantly flops. From like mid-sized company and they just are completely out of touch. I don't know what makes me think this. I don't know if it's like this graphics style. Spine. Which one? It reminds me of like Rage or whatever, you know? Br br brick? Was there a game called that? Bringing cinematic action. Future sponsor? Spine is coming soon to PC. Not wrong. We're just Brink. minutes away from starting our top 10 countdown. And make sure you stick around all the way to the number one game on our list to see some exclusive gameplay footage. But before that, here's a message from our friends at PC Game Pass. Mad Lover, that's five it says first in game pass, man. First in. How's that first? But Bat gaming. I'm not saying for six years. Set up for for today. Six years aware. Yes, I am fully aware. Really the bad man. Everything, nothing helps. And Roman, welcome back. Welcome. For its first post Destiny release, Bungie's taking a walk back through time for our first entry in the most wanted top 10. Wielding 30 years of sharpened shooter design, the studio is busy carving a new extraction shooter from the series that paved the way for Halo. So far, we haven't seen much of Marathon, but its mix of rampant AIs, mysterious alien precursors, unknowable space entities, and high saturation clone firefights oh God, are more than enough real, to earn no slot cap. number 10. Dead Here's a special message from out, the studio. Licka, thanks for 28 months, Prime, dude. Appreciate it. Go back. Number All right, top 10, 10 time. Marathon. Who right. Bungie. Is it Destiny 2? No. Who's Bungie? Destiny again? 3. Yeah, it is Destiny Hello, 3. I'm Christopher okay. Barrett, uh, franchise game director on Marathon. We're incredibly humbled uh, by the reception Marathon has received since its announcement earlier this year. Um, being voted one of the most anticipated games on PC is an Marathon. honor which absolutely motivates everyone on the project. Uh, the whole team's hard at work right now uh, building Bungie's take on the extraction shooter genre. And the next time you hear from us, we'll have Tarko a lot again. more to show, including gameplay. Thank you. Play a game. I genuinely here. cannot wait for that <laughs> one. Again. Right, let's keep things moving with a couple more trailers. Was that number 10? No, this is different, right? My creation has gone rogue. This looks like something Mr. Force would play. And I shall rebuild it. Die. More than Lion game? It's not a dim game, I'll tell you that much. Nice artwork, though. Well, yeah, unless I get sponsored. What game is a dim game? 
I don't know, grid lane game? Fucking football game? I mean, I don't mind like our MMORPGs. Or GTA 6, that would be a nim game. Red Dead Redemption 3. Alright. Well, that's a slightly interesting concept, but the combat is pretty bad. Welcome to Crashlands. Team! <clears throat> Explore a world filled with wonder, mystery, and some of these things. They're so quirky. And then slap them. Just slap it all. Except the best to make a home for yourself. But not just yourself. After all, if you're gonna make it on this planet, you need all the nice help you can get. Crashlands 2. Anyone played the first one? Crashlands 2 drops onto Steam in 2024. At number nine on the most wanted is the product of a simple design philosophy. If you look hard enough, you can always find somewhere to put another skill tree. Dead by Daylight is a new game. making a second game in the process. Warm up that left mouse button because we're about to show you some Path of Exile 2. Oh. We traveled all the way to New Zealand to oh. speak with the team, climbing the highest mountains to visit their studio in Auckland. Number nine, Path of Exile How to? 2. Isn't this already out? I'm so confused about Path of Exile. I thought this was out. Am I crazy? Exciting new games. It seems the old ways still hold some power. Oh, yes, no. Okay, I'm just probably just thinking of some expansion for Path of Exile, though. There really is a lot of new content in this game, I feel like. I can't really track it. There was a beta. It looks... It looks very similar to the first Path of Exile, though. What's like some big changes they've done, I wonder? Graphics look pretty good. Wait, what? This is a... this is real. What do you mean? I thought that was Path of Exile still! <laughs> it's like, wait, why are there cars in Path of Exile? Yo, BBSP! Yippee! Should we play something Path of tomorrow? Exile 2 is basically our next generation action RPG. And one of the things we really wanted to make sure that we were doing with it um, is to make the action combat really, really excellent. We just want to make sure that anyone playing Force the game, you know, you can time. play it like an action game. Feels fun to play, you know, we've added things like dodge rolls stream. and like ca cancelling, things like this. And it just means You're that the, the, the game just feels a lot better than it previously did. Um, as well as everything else that you'd expect from a, a sequel to Path of Exile. One thing I hate in particular that they're, they're not synced up. Part is obviously the depth, the but fuck. In the yeah, I think I'm actually gonna do twenty. I'm gonna manage to do twenty four hours before a year is over. Also, the sheer number of quantity of monsters, encounters. We'll see. Like we have over a decade of content gonna get well that first. is going to be available in Path of Exile Two as well. Or Path of Exile 2, we Boops. really want to keep the Boops mechanics it. from Path of Exile 1 <gasps> that are great, but we can rack them. Whoa, that's such a cool name. Rebuild them or restructure them in a way that is easier to understand and much more accessible for someone coming at it for the first time, and keep that depth there, either hidden away or depth. much more natural to understand. I think there's a big difference between depth and complexity. Depth. Path of Exile 2, in some ways, is less complicated than Path of Exile 1 because we've simplified okay, so the really sort of technical something. complexity around around doing things like the way you socket skills and things like that um, to make it easier to understand. But at the same time, we're making yeah, that sure that we keep all the depth retarded. in terms of character options and things that you can do. So everything is still there as far as like, what can I do to build my character? It's just that it is easier to I do said so it from the you don't start. have to be worrying, for example, about when you're changing but your own. No one listened to the God Gamer, but now they did. Like so I think that actually Ten uh, years new later. and regular players can tolerate a lot of depth. It's the complexity that we want to try and avoid. This guy. The dodge roll actually came about because we really wanted to be able to find a way to having some skills that took longer to do than other skills. But the problem with that is that skills feel really terrible if you start them and then you can't get out of them. So we really needed a way to make that interruption be possible and uh, the dodge roll was a really great way to do it. We actually already had a philosophy for Path of Exile 2 boss design. Yeah, I finished this game. We wanted to make sure that everything was dodgeable. But previously, Hardcore. we were just doing that by running around. But I think the dodge roll has actually changed a lot of things, and especially because, you know, now that you can expect a player to be able to do that, it means that we can have the expectation and the balance as well. 
We've done fresh design on everything. We've taken some elements from Peri One in terms of monsters, specific monsters, and and brought them over and kind of because they were fun to play. Like why <laughs> not replicate something that is still fun to play? But of course, it's full fresh coat of paint. Um, there are definitely new systems. I'd say a lot of the monsters are faster, for example, which is where dodge roll helps to come into play. We have secondary AI systems that allow the monsters to do skills while they were performing another skill. Much like how a player can dodge roll to interrupt a skill, a monster can now do the same thing. We have a lot more uh, monsters doing interactions with the environment. They'll interact with the world more, a lot more spawning from things, a lot more uh, like in one of our areas, the Isle of Kin, we have monsters riding on top of another monster and then when you, they get close, they all jump off. It's a lot of design I didn't fucking finish D4, I feel bad about, about it, but yeah. The new skill system so I wouldn't even so be able to do it. So something like the Mercenary now, we're developing uh -huh. how crossbows I run an ad. work. We kind of really looked at that and thought, okay, how can we make crossbows just feel completely different than bows? You know, if you look at a shooter, it's like pistols and, and shotguns and things like that. Like, okay, what, what about those makes them different from each other? And so therefore, it makes this the kind of game, experience I'd be down so to like no life this game, but I just, you know, you want that like I found it a hard game to stream, it's so fucking boring to watch. Unless the person you're watching is like super good and you play the game yourself. We're thinking like, how can we make the skills here feel so different than every other class. For a lot of the really unique skill sets like the crossbows, which are almost like WoW? basically well, guns. The same logic applied to WoW for the longest time until this hardcore hype those kind of feel great. That I'm just writing the, the opportunity to that. bring into Bath of Exile, and there's a lot of lessons of what works well in a shooter that can work well in an ARPG if you do the work, get the animations right, get the timing right. We've done a lot of core system changes to make it so that it feels like you've got as much control as you would in a shooter focused game. There's a lot of what have other games done well that we can bring into Path of Exile that no ARPG is really built on because they don't have the crazy level of skill variety that we've ended up having. So we've got a live stream later today where we're going to be showing off two of our character classes. Uh, we're really deep diving into the mechanics uh, and we're really excited to show that. So if you're interested well, to know more about more Path of Exile 2, then uh, tune into that later today. Okay. The old magics, not to be feared. Now, if you're anything like me, you leave your Christmas shopping to the absolute last second and then speed run the entire thing in a single afternoon of guest checkouts That's and regret. Quinn, Quinn 85. But what to buy the PC gamer in your life? Right. Well, our good friends yeah, at Intel sure. have a few ideas. Here's five of their favorite gaming deals this holiday season, all on offer now at Newegg. Games on sale. The Acer Predator Helios gaming laptop. Inside oh. is an i7-13700 Imagine buying an XCD, Acer gaming an RTX laptop. 4070, 16 gigabytes of DDR5 Out of all of the brands. And one terabyte of storage. We've been big fans of Acer's Helios machines for ages, and the new 16-inch Predator has fast become one of our favorite yeah, gaming laptops. Oh. It's the oh, yeah. perfect combination of Maybe processor, good graphics nowadays. card, I don't know. big 240 hertz screen, and price. The 24-thread Intel CPU is mighty strong too, and the RTX 4070 graphics card 1300? also supports the magic of frame generation for a buttery smooth experience. You could get a vacuum cleaner for that. This is the Gigabyte Aorus 15 gaming laptop, running on an i7-13700 don't PC buy a laptop, CPU. chat. RTX Holy graphics, for gaming. 16 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM, probing, a 1TB Gen 4 SSD, and a 15.6-inch 165Hz QHD display. Ever. If you're are a little lighter, this only slightly smaller 15-inch Aorus is a great option. You still get a 20-thread Intel CPU, oh yeah, Mr. but Force? the same RTX 4070 GPU there with inside it parents, and a high so refresh a rate QHD on... screen. It still packs a serious punch, and if you want serious frame rates from the latest games, either of these laptops has or you Or if covered. you're one of those anti-social streamers to go to conventions with an entertainment gaming gaming laptop. hotel, right? An i7-13620H processor, Let's not sink RTX the audio guys GPU, in Dodge Rolling. Let's of Dodge Roll. Memory, we got a lot in store SSD. for you guys, Dodge Roll. If you're looking for a lot of screen real Dodge estate, roll, MSI 17-inch chonker will get the job done without costing a bomb. The 13th gen core i7 is a I think if I would ever buy a gaming chip. laptop, I would probably go Asus. Hello? The machine still sports an RTX 4070 graphics card. Maybe like MSI. Yeah, I don't know. This on that and new laptop. content creators are going to love the massive 32 gig of DDR5 memory. Force is incapable of imagining people Next, with a MSI's different life situation than him. 
carrying the i7 he doesn't have a commute so he just FCP, can't fathom that people commute to places or that people have two places another they live spacious 32 gigs of ddr5 with two terabytes of storage so yeah, you remember that big black obelisk from the start of 2001 A Space Odyssey, right? MSI's Aegis R PC very much has that vibe, but right also throws in a little them. RGB Mr. gaming Force. flair. Inside this monolith, you'll find a beefy 24-thread Intel CPU and way more memory and storage well, the than you usually find wasn't necessary about the gaming laptop. price. Finally, we have the 12th Gen Core and Arc Bundle. An i7-12700K CPU and the r 770 with a $50 discount. But there ain't much that can top the feeling of building a gaming machine with your own two hands. And these Intel Silicon bundles will allow you to do that at a bargain price. For us, pairing a 12th Gen i7 with an AS Rock Arc 770 hey guys. is a real smart money play. Because these older CPUs I always wanted share a to be here. of DNA with the latest 14th Gen I feel so honored that he invited me over. And this graphics card has only got faster since launch. To react to this with him. Damn, those are some powerful computers. Let's hope Santa thinks we'd all be nice this year. Or at least he hasn't heard any the things you've said in solo queue voice chat. Okay. okay, our next game is a fun one. A blisteringly fast racer and a 1999 It smells like sugar free waffles. Racing into early access in soon. This is Death Grip. Okay, what's this? Now that's what I call pod racing. I think this is actually pod racing. This is like um, Falcon Falcon Punch. What is that actually called? X Space X. No, what the fuck is it called? X Zero. Like insanely ultra fast racing. Oh, oh I gotta move. Zero yet. Eh. Mario Kart clears. It's nice it's font, huh? Did you practice that a lot? Because I don't know what the fucking game is called still. Death Grip. Now that's what I legally can't call pod racing. The whole reason we're here today is because, yes, there are an incredible amount of video games, and we want to help you decide which ones are the most deserving of attention. But if you're watching and wondering, hey, why isn't the Elder Scrolls 6 one of the most wanted games? Well, let me explain. They Our voting pay. process for the most wanted list yeah. prioritizes yeah. games that are imminent and that we know lots of information about. Oh, like The GTA. more confident we are in a game's release, <laughs> the more rewarded it is by our shit. voting system. But still, there's a long list of high profile games that have been in dark mode for years and years. While theoretically enormous, <sighs> they're frustratingly absent from the public. You know more about so the just to give them at least a moment of acknowledgement, I'm going or to see Oblivion. how many or of these uh, I can rattle Scrolls. through. Ready? <laughs> the Elder Scrolls 6, Bioshock 4, which was announced four years ago, the eventual Cyberpunk 2077 sequel, The Witcher remake, Project 007 from the team that made Hitman that's probably going to be incredible, Dragon Age Dreadwolf. Come on, Bioware, let's see it. Death Stranding 2, Star Wars Eclipse, yes. The Tom Clancy Splinter Cell remake. Oh, and that untitled fall I like RPG from New Blood Interactive Armor 4. That League of Legends fighting game that looks really good. A Wonder Woman That's game. The new Indiana Jones game from the folks that made Wolfenstein. Good and Evil 2, which has been in development for something like 15 years. The reboot of the Escape series and Crisis 4. Crisis 4. Crisis 4. <laughs> While I catch my yeah. breath, let's see a couple of games that actually Force, have some candy. Ooh, what's this? A44, what is this A24 wanna be? Our world is in chaos. So it's the like gods and their armies of the dead seek to rule over everything we call so like home. I'll be damned if I let that happen. My name is Moore Vanek. Good snake, welcome back. Soldier, God killer. Humanity will kneel. 
This looks like the kind of game I'll get sponsored by. To no god. Oh, Flintlock. Well, I recognize that. Bloodborne 2. At home. Maybe you should kiss the Forsen when he is so close. Flush. Time for a word from our good friends at Mad Mushroom. I already kissed him. Mad Mushroom <gasps> is Soda. a publishing company that is going to be a little different from other publishing companies. Mad Mushroom gives us the opportunity to enter the games industry Are they actually while at the released same time or announced elevating and amplifying the message of hundreds this of indie developers. You are literally working hand in hand with Maybe they're about influencers to. to figure out how to make your game as enjoyable as possible, not just to play, but also from a content viewing perspective. If you're a developer and you're interested in us publishing your game, you can go to madmushroom.gg. Check it out. We're very passionate and we're very excited about what we're doing here. I can tell. In a city that never sleeps, innovators like Kieran Short and the All Street New York City Collective remind us that with the right tools, like the Alienware laptop, the boundaries of art and technology can be pushed beyond our imagination. That's where Alienware's top of the line the computers come in. Introducing our real life XP up. boost, the Alienware Power Boost Benefit. These Scan guys are sponsored by all the gaming the laptops. To see how Alienware is undeniably stepping up the game. Wait, I'd be a bit pissed if I put, had my Acer ad right before that, and then they show that. In Islands of Insight, you awaken on a floating island as a seeker. Your goal is to explore a serene fantasy realm of ancient wonders and natural beauty, solve its mysterious puzzles, and unveil the secrets of the islands. Me, 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 me. We designed the world to be brimming with thousands of handcrafted puzzles. Yeah, it looks like Talos. Each of them carefully placed throughout the landscape. You might start off solving logic puzzles and then decide to search for hidden objects or go find some perspective or memory puzzles to take on. Designed by some of the best minds in puzzle design, our puzzles vary in difficulty and are thoughtfully crafted to be relaxing, challenging, and satisfying. I can sometimes to like some puzzle games. So cool. and seasoned puzzle fans. There is I no have Force and Rob and you on at the same insight. time. 2023 you choose where to go, pointless. which puzzles to solve, and in what order, all at your own pace. Nah, it looks way you more can solve like, puzzle uh, quests to unlock new Carlos. areas in the campaign, or explore the main island, an expansive open world where most I like puzzle puzzles games that are like uh, viewfinder and portal and Wander around the sublime landscapes on foot, or glide above them. Our shared world allows for seamless interactions and collaboration between players. Easy ones, sure. You can interact with others for a bit of guidance, or you can play entirely on your own. Puzzle game. This is your adventure. In today's fast-paced world, we hope Islands of Insight <laughs> delivers a Not puzzle games that feature players shoving that, that shit. That Supplies shit right there. That shit right on. there. Uh, that's not puzzles that interest me. I prefer moving page. my body Sorry. around the area. Seeing different things, maybe, you know, interacting with the the big environment. I don't want to fucking look at a little mini game that's just literally that In 1999, Homeworld brought RTS space combat fully into three dimensions. Now, 20 like years Portal, after yes. Homeworld 2, it's a very different world for real-time strategy. And an excellent time for a comeback. From Blackbird Interactive, Surely. this is Homeworld 3. Number eight, Homeworld three. First batch of bombers rolling off the line. Looking good. RTS game in the current year. Ooh, what's this? Make sure you can only show cinematic and real life stuff. Homeworld 3 is a uh, 3D strategy game set in space. But it's incredibly cinematically it's compelling. Shout out. When we were first starting up on Homeworld 3, we were thinking, fish. what are the, some of the coolest spectacles you, you too, can think buddy. of Welcome in back. the universe back. that you Thank would you. want to play in or around? In essence, Homeworld 3 was really our original dream of Homeworld 2. 
The problem was in the late 90s, early 2000s, the vision for Homeworld 3 was utterly impossible to make. Massive coronal sun ejections, massive battles in asteroid fields. Massive environments with these giant megaliths, you know, like gigantic Death Star size things that would create an interesting landscape for the player to move their units through. We had to wait 20 years. <laughs> before we could do that. So anyone who's interested in strategy or strategy like games, we want to immerse basically anyone who loves science fiction. For us, Homeworld 3 is a love letter to the fans of the franchise that have been with us over the last you know, 20, 22 years. And with Homeworld 3, we want to just Made continue a chest. that Did you amazing see that? feeling that you got from playing Homeworld 1 back in the day and give that to you again. How you can play Homeworld play? 3 at the pace that you want to play. Tactical pause are going to allow you to actually just pause the game 100%. We have a classic controls, which you'll know and love from Homeworld 2. And then we have our modern control scheme. And that one is built around FPS Bossing, controls dancing. that you know and love from the games that you've played before. So MOBA players, RTS players from other games will be able to quickly understand, okay, if I want to go somewhere, I just click on this element here. Cinematic combat is such a huge pillar to the franchise. We want you to be able to get in there, find the coolest camera, angle and enjoy the spectacle. For anybody who's never played a homeworld game, they'll be able to get right into the action. We wanted choke points. We wanted interesting strategic decision making for the player. When engaging in combat, terrain will actually matter. We have tunnels where you can actually take your fighters and frigates through those things, and that will actually remove you from the enemy sensors. So you can ambush I don't understand. them. You can actually These use ships, a larger are they ship different players? to take fire for another no, ship. No, it's all the one player, okay. So in Homeworld 3, we focused a lot on what wasn't already available for us within Unreal. We wanted to figure Those out Those were just the units and they were zoomed in. They keep doing it. that the game would have that separate so Homeworld really from any other game, which was the, mostly the skybox and the lighting to give that feel of being in space. When you go into a nebula, the ship understands how Mr. much Force coverage it has from that, which will affect the concept okay, of the Okay, the amount of people the we knew that I'm asking to kiss Force is getting so concerning. On what that system would be like. You'll see the history of your battles as you go through the whole campaign. Please wish list and pre order the game. We're super excited to have you. Ah, it's going to be a pass for me. I'm sorry. Looks okay, though. It looks fine. RTS in the middle of the year. A tale of a long forgotten saint. It's not even RTS. For there was once an empty potential about to be birthed into existence. But the potential was greeted by short sightedness. Is this a 2D Although roguelike? Although nigh honestly covetous, nor completely barren. It swallowed up everything that was given. Make your camp smaller, mirror it, and put yourself in his lap. It's like I'm a baby! <laughs> Dictated from beyond by blessed ignorance and idle hands. Uji's solidarity, like an utopian hummus. Blessed be she. Pretty name, uh, game though. But Gives them, like, I like the... And her worth lies therein. Colors remind me of uh, Beatles' uh, Yellow Submarine stuff. LSD trip looking off. So artsy. Ultras. 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 Perhaps you've heard of an obscure little indie game called Stardew Valley? Or yeah, maybe the hundreds of cozy life sims it inspired. Whilst its imitators are busy trying to re-bottle the farm life lightning, Stardew's solo dev is leaving the barnyard behind. From two editors at PC Gamer, Lauren Morton and Molly Taylor, let's hear more about this highly anticipated follow-up. Stardew 2? I'm not bouncing, guys. Number seven, Haunted Chocolatier. Haunted Chocolatier. 
Wait. Molly, you and I end up talking about cozy games on the PC Gamer Chat Log podcast quite a bit. Which is why it's so exciting that its creator, Eric Baroni, is currently working on his next game, Haunted Chocolatier, where instead of us being on a farm, we're like running a chocolate shop instead, which sounds cool. super exciting. We haven't seen a whole lot about Haunted Chocolatier yet. We've seen a brief trailer and we've seen some screenshots. We've seen a like boss battles potentially wait we've that's seen the game the wait this is the stardew town. valley we've seen some expanded combat wait, it's the same game. the stardew valley formula so we're definitely anticipating hearing more about it as it's more it like a stardew so expansion i'm really excited to see how baroni is going to take that formula and evolve on it i mean it's not necessarily and I have a, a bad pretty thing. good feeling that haunted chocolatier is going to be setting the standards for cozy games for years to come any cozers concerned apes Assistance required yeah, on the corner the of game. 5th and 24th Street. I mean, a gas station has exploded and we require immediate medical attention. Received loud and clear. Tomorrow. We're on our way. ETA approximately five minutes. Zombie game? Oh, you play as the paramedic. Wait, this looks awful. Ambulance simulator. Okay. Paramedic simulator. Okay. <clears throat> Good work. Wow, a hype train is closed. The crusade is about to overwhelm us. <laughs> the crusade is on the rise. I have to warn everybody. Song of Silence. They Work the week. We must keep them from reaching the enclave at all costs. Work week game. Heroes. And then I'll dress up as a sexy uh, uh, nurse. Song of Silence. Lorelai, it's been an honor fighting Song by your side. Pots. Did you guys see that pot? Likewise, my friend. But we'll what make was the it heroes game we played then? That's a promise. Song of something. Hey, keep it down! Son of Conquest. Oh yeah, that's him. <clears throat> what the fuck? What is this? Strategy game, uh, war here. simulator, battle we simulator, and card game? <clears throat> Hashtag ad. Pace, the pace. I actually think this looks home. sort of well if they execute it well, but Please, it looks like they're guiding star. fighting a off sign. a lot. Now the question is, can they chew it? Queen Lorelei of Erengard, they call me Myrna. The bird will guide you to my side when the time comes. The crusade brings you a better future! Soon, there shall only like be silence! The void will devour everything, unless we stop the crusade. It's like, uh... Firstborn, starborn, even constructs. Deep down, we are all as one. Civilization meets uh, a vibrant blend of forex management and card-based RTS battles. Songs of Silence releases in spring 2024. Oh, no, Next up on the most wanted highway, a game that knows nothing beats a road trip. Just you, your car, the open road, and the interdimensional horrors bubbling forth from reality's cosmic wounds. <laughs> Number six. Pacific Drive. Oh yeah, this one looks interesting. The Olympic Peninsula, the crown jewel of the Pacific Northwest. Its unmatched views and quiet solitude offer everything you need in the most beautiful place on Earth. There is no cause for alarm. Take shelter in the closest pocket of stability in your area. And please refrain from thoughts or memories of home. Oregon? I, wait, didn't the I play this? The events were in plain sight. Strange accidents leading to the government's claim of eminent domain and subsequent seizure of the peninsula. I thought maybe it was, I played like a demo of this game. People, no, I'm mixing up the game. An and abject failure at containing the rumors that spread like wildfire. Damn. It was hours before Arda came to extract us. Nine. Some zone secrets are best left secret. Eight. 
Seven. I don't even look up at the sky anymore. Six. Is she a myth, murder, or monster? Five. Nothing had more potential than limb technology. Four. And look what it did to the Olympic Peninsula. Three. Very playable on the yeah. most. Charlene at the same time here, Max and Ikea. What the heck? This looks very indie. Look at this. Dark Souls fishing. <laughs> Is this game already out? Amen. The wild service wrap? Yeah, but I'm watching this now. Most wanted. We're getting close to the top, right? Which number are we on? Wait, have we even kept on counting? We hit like top 10 and then now they change. I just love that we're seeing smaller studios take a swing at Souls-like gameplay. Mortal Crux is coming soon to early access. Like Sassy Killer. Coming up, we're nearly at the top of our list. Ooh. It's time for a second helping of Helldivers as the most wanted countdown continues. Ah, okay. Hey, Peza the Meza, the Oh, yes. that was number voice. six. Like number five. Oh, Helldivers well. two. What's it called? If there's Hell. one thing we value, it's interstellar combat with giant acid belching insects. Hell or as divers. the prime soldiers of Super Earth call it's it, like Starship Troopers. democracy. Now shooting in third person, the Hell Divers redeploy for co op. And our panel of experts can't wait to enlist. Bro, they're literally stealing Starship Troopers. Yeah, <laughs> jinx. Literally the same bugs, literally the same fucking ads. Backers, do you ever type anything related to what is going on on the screen? How Divers 2 arrives on PC My for some co-op starship trooping on February 8, 2024. Now, Wait, we turn to the unholy rebirth of a 2009 strategy cult classic. When Hell's Throne sits empty, its greatest devils march to war in this stylishly sinister game of ungodly grand strategy. Here's the latest trailer for Solium Infernum. Set in the bureaucratic nightmare of hell, Solium Infernum this looks just is a like that other game. What the fuck? Game like no other. But actually, sort of the better. The of darkness has vanished, and to ascend to the dark throne as ruler of hell, you must prove to the infernal conclave that you are the most powerful archfiend of all. The arch. It looks Equipped just like Dota 2 in the style. And cast rituals that can turn the tide of battle. Command legions, summon colossal titans, bribe minions, and attempt to outbid your fellow archfiends in the bazaar, Hell's Blind Auction House. You'd best learn the rules of Hell fast, and how to exploit the archfiend. This actually looks kind of cool. malice and malevolence that win favor in Hell. I hope I get sponsors to play this. Insult and extort your enemies, goading them into open warfare. Or worse, humiliation. Scheme in your sleep with asynchronous multiplayer. Investing just a moment each day in games that can last for weeks. Wait, Hello, what? Boston. There are no loyal. I noticed your title says we see Wait, that's dang. Did you guys hear that? I can play this with my boomer friends. To be had for but I play board games with. I suggest changing Better that title to PC Gaming. Show from your face. Because holy shit. 
Please clarify. Giga strategy game of hell. Well, there are some playable uh, gems amongst the uh, puddles. That game comes out of my birthday. History is defined by moments when its greatest himbos collide. In January, the world will stand witness as Yakuza's very best boys unite for an ocean-spanning RPG adventure. And probably like some Mahjong? Like a dragon earned high marks from our voting crew. Let's see what Sega's got cooking. Fuck. Gotta go fast. Number four. Like a dragon, infinite wealth. Oh, she's pretty stick, where are you? Like a dragon. Oh, lately, our old years. friend, the Siryu so clan's been acting mighty suspicious. That's appreciated. It's a pleasure to meet Total you. leveling with five years. I'm it's sending you to Hawaii. There's someone there who wants to meet you. It's your mother. God, I was say your mother. It would be so good. What the hell's going on? I saw the freeze. freeze. Here you saw? I time you met the head of the Barracuda. Names. Danny Trejo? Barracudas are after me. Akane san, they're after her too, you know. You seen this? This is someone else, Ganja. You trying to tell me there are Yakuza in Hawaii? The head of Kazuma Kiryu. What better trophy than the head of a dragon? I really, really need your help, like right now. I'd take a bullet for a bud any day. <sighs> take cover! You can always turn a new leaf, but you can't turn back the clock. All you get is the precious time you're given. You ready for this, Kasuga? Anyway, it's getting late. Let's do this. Okay. Well, it's a pretty hype and game. Turn back you time. haven't missed your chance at our gaming PC giveaway. Follow the QR code on screen now and complete our viewership survey. Sorry. Once you're done, you'll be in the running to win a custom AC Mirage PC created by the talented guys at Blue Horse Studios and boasting Pass. a Core i9-14900K CPU from the show's oh, presenting shit. sponsor, Intel. Hell yeah, free computers. We're just a Look few games she away from the number one game in our countdown. And from showing you some exclusive gameplay footage, I think you're going to like. But first, here's another game from our wish list: Crown Wars: The Black Prince. Clown Wars. Nick on these nuts. War. Your Why is it like passion. that? They have a how appropriate, for it makes you blind to our ascension. We we were here well before your kings, before your religions. Oh. We will be here after your empires. We are domination. We are power. We are legion. Imagination. We are blood, death, multitude. We are the terror that whispers in the dark. We are the chaos in all things and the order within chaos. Illuminati. This is XCOM but medieval. You may be many things, but we, we have hope. Manage your forces cool. for medieval tactics in Crown Wars. The they Black recorded Prince the shot March. with some camera that literally has like a tiny, th this tiny amount of focus. And then they put that focus right on her boobs. Everything else in frame is blurry everywhere an ambitious creation platform currently in development let's hear a little more about the big vision behind everywhere which country is this let me guess germany build the rocket boy england Hey, my name's Adam Whiting, assistant game director here at Build Rocket Boy, and I'm working on everywhere. He's working everywhere? So it's a world of creativity and exploration and discovery underpinned by really high quality systems that hopefully inspire the next generation of games creators and world builders. Hi, my name's Leslie Benzies. 
I am the game director of Everywhere and Mind's Eye, founder of Build a Rocket Boy. Everywhere is a place where players can tell their stories, uh, where they can build. So it's like a shooting elements, game there's driving elements, there's engine. puzzles. Players can build. Oh, it's like Roblox and shit. Part and many different experiences, and they've got also play a AAA game called Mind's Eye. Tools, which we call Arcadia, they're a part of all everywhere, so you don't have to jump to a separate executable to, to trigger them. This guy's the we producer of most Rockstar games? With UGC in mind, so it's inherent to the games. Arcadia, I think, is, is a really wonderful suite of creation tools that we're using internally to build content within the platform. I think that's really important. If you're using one set of tools Thanks. and then giving a lesser subset of that to players, they immediately realize the limitations of the tool set they've been given. I mean, we, we played the. Play what's it called? Everywhere again? To serve as inspiration uh, because they have the same dream. tools that we use to build that experience. Yep. So right? You could look at Utopia as the hub where well, some you crazy socialize, where you come into the games, games meet up with your friends, before you say to go play the entertainment anything that offers community content. interaction and the new community can do stuff everywhere. So and great. then you can use it as like a launch pad jump into any other type of experience go and explore the uh, open world of the biome yeah. surrounding utopia city you can jump into the district buildings that curate specific game types on, uh, of content I don't know. or you can jump into anything you Frost want to pretty high or through invite some of the players but essentially that's the kind of foundation that you use to kind of experience all these other interesting kind of facets why are you hiring me experiences the progression system of the game, Fortnite. actual gameplay of, of everywhere sits Fortnite. within the biomes. And then you've got these abstracted other areas, which we call arcs, and they're pieces of UGC content that, that we build and, and our players will build. And they're held separately from the, the main world. They're connected by virtual Oh, my hand is petting Apollo in real life. Ever evolving, ever changing world. I'm not grabbing onto they're anything. They're connected, so using the same character and the same no, data. Apollo's right here. These different experiences, but they're not causally related or narratively related. You know, we were intentionally take a very light touch with the narrative within the game because we want this to be a world where players have agency and they have freedom to infer their own stories and their own world building within this space and we don't really know what they're going to do with it and we really want to earnestly kind of move forward with them and help them build this world with us if you were kind of able to take part in like a shared oh, I reality remember space with other players the pinball. all different types who had all different types of backgrounds that was a windows game right and needs but they're all being fulfilled by the i, I feel like it's very hard to follow platform. for some reason I, think that'd be really exciting I don't know why Sugar no, it's not as well. at all. Test. It's more of an infrastructure test. The first people moving into this world are going to be able to check out our systems, allow us to do a lot of kind of testing of the back ends and all that kind of stuff. But they're also going to be kind of the intrepid explorers, the first into this brand new horizon, the first people to experience the tools and be able to build some really cool content with them. We're keen for everybody to get involved. You know, like I said, this is a game that's been built for the I mean, it's not saying that much interesting like stuff. You just sat at home watching this video right now in mind. Um, so I implore you, please. We really hope everyone's going to game, interact and watch, work alpha. with us and build our things. Excited we're really to excited to feedback. present this to you and we're hoping that everyone's going to get involved and uh, yeah we're, we've been working on this for a long time and we're really hoping that everyone's going to let's build it i mean could be could Together. be something good <clears throat> sweaty past even five years man wow ow that? ow journey hobo badge sin atari three years minus three years. Ow, ow, ow. at least we're closing three. in on number one but first mm -hmm. the follow-up to a roguelike with fittingly mythical acclaim Rogue likes pod <laughs> number three. Oh, shit. Hades two. Here we go. Hades two. After three years and who knows how many deaths, we still can't get enough Hades. And apparently neither can its Hades developers. Nuts. In Supergiant's first sequel, Hades is imprisoned and the titan of time is loose. You're the witchcraft-wielding princess of the underworld, they striking out against the game. forces of Kronos. That was so annoying in the first one. It's really one, something to imagine how Hades 2 could build on the slowly unfolding storytelling and elegant design but of the way, the, the extra game. year than have them early access to shit. Fourteen days for one dollar. Pay these nuts. Gee. What's this then? People are snoring. It's fall penguins. Mm. I'm fucking tired of not 
seeing Apollo. Put him on the fucking screen and pet him right now. Rim, pet, pet. Ah! Don't forget to spam. Eat him. He's using my hand as his pillow right now. What the fuck is this game about? Big breakaway. No gameplay. That was some gameplay. You know, you know we don't garbage. think of the PC as the birthplace of platformers, but we continue to see outstanding 2D and 3D platformers release each year. Nice. Okay, Elden Ringers. However many boss kills you've got under your belt, the greatest test for every tarnished is well, it's millennia. The second greatest test is patience. And by God from Soft, haven't we been tested enough? Torrent needs his exercise. As we scratch at the locked door of the lands between the details, let's hear <coughs> from some of our voters about what Isn't they're expecting soon? from this expansion. Number two, Elden Ring, Shadow of the Erd Tree. I'm extremely excited about oh, the Elden Ring DLC, Shadow of the Earth Tree. Personally, I'm hoping that they will introduce a new vast oh, area to explore that gives you that same magical feeling as exploring Limgrave for the first time. Just something new and exciting around every corner, pretty much. In terms of boss fights, well, I'm look, Chad, Nim's New Year's uh, trophy right there. Than the base game. If we go back to previous From Software games, typically we've seen that the best and the hardest bosses are in the DLCs. Some examples would be Medir, Gale, Orphan of Cause. Oh wait, no, not that one, that one. Am I right? I would definitely say. It would be thrilling to see if they could come up with a boss that's even more difficult than Melania. Story-wise, I the think we'll one. get a greater understanding into Melania's brother, Mikola, which has been very much hinted and talked about in the, the main game. All in all, they can't Dude, why does he have two stream decks? Enough. One final RPG featured in our show today is the return of a true cult classic. We saw this studio right at the beginning of the show with horror games still wakes the deep, but they're also working on the second coming of Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2. Wait, I thought this was cancelled. Was this not cancelled? Oh shit. No, it's it's just Tell it, me, Willem. What development rumors hell. have you heard about me? It was? Uh, th that you were there in Cairo. They, they called you the Slayer. And what will I be to you, like three times. Willem? <laughs> and to this lonely, forgotten warehouse? It basically is. I mean, they keep showing it for, what, five years or some shit? Exactly what he said you'd be. I guess that makes it easier. Makes what easier? What happens next? Before we find out which game tops our most wanted list, let's recap the top 25 so far. I thought it was the Elden Ring. Uh, Still expansion. Wakes the Deep. Sword of the Sea. Holston. Persona 3 Reload. Oh, okay, yeah, well, let's see here. Harold Halibut. Star Wars the ones Outlaws. I was excited about. Skate Story. Not this. Menace. Not this. Avowed. Not that. Dragon's Dogma 2. Maybe. Frostpunk 2. That, for sure. Gloomwood. No. Nah. Grand Theft Auto 6. That, for sure. Tekken 8. That as well. Hollow Knight, Silk Song, were Don't know. Marathon, No. Path of Exile 2, Sure, why not? Homeworld 3, No. 
Haunted Chocolatier. Maybe. Pacific Drive. That looked interesting. Hell Divers 2. The clo- the, uh, like fine. a Dragon. Infinite Wealth. Sure. Hades 2. Sure. Elden Ring. Shadow Definitely. of the Erd Tree. Hype. Whee. I'm back. We've ranked 24 of our 25 most wanted games, each capturing a different piece of our fascinations. We've had meditative sword surfing, demonic skateboarding, eldritch road tripping. Whether it's the three-dimensional space strategy of Homeworld 3 or the ever-expanding universe of build crafting in Path of Exile 2, the most wanted represents the games we can't help but hunger for. But for our panel of experts, will one, one game be? more than any other had a clear hold on our hopes. This game received the highest voting total from our panel of critics, developers, and it content It can't be creators. Elder Scrolls. It's the <laughs> long-awaited return of a it series that found wonder in jammed firearms and crackling Geiger counters, striking a balance between lethal tension and dystopic beauty that's never Fallout quite been matched. Five. <coughs> but also, this Stalker? game is a testament to developer fortitude. This is a project that's weathered wartime, including office relocations and most recently, nah, this a severe better not the studio too. fire. Here is our most wanted game. Stalker 2. Nah, I know. Nah. Number one. Oh my Stalker God. 2. Heart of Cornobo. <laughs> Hello, everyone. That's the third time I'm he's Eugen, left. The CEO of GC Since I started the watching. And the game director of Stalker 2, Heart of Cornobo. Is this bladder okay? Recording this video feels almost surreal as I accept the award for the hey, most look, a fellow, PC game. fellow Beatles fan. Being here proves that several elements much larger than myself aligned for this moment to happen. Firstly, it's about you, our fans. Many years ago, when the journey we had planned concluded, you refused to leave the zone. You enriched it with stories, love, and life, ensuring that legacy continues through the years you've shown us that there are still goals is there like to a gun behind the camera to tell. your passion has guided us throughout this journey and i can never express enough gratitude for that i consider this award a symbol of your unbreakable trust secondly it's about the journey itself this path was extraordinary marked by dedication you think he's using the nvidia Everyone I think... involved to deliver an unforgettable experience. I just blinked. I feel blessed to lead a team like this. And I dedicate this award to those talented individuals. Stalker 2 stands as the biggest and most complex game in our lives. It was ambitious from the beginning, but evolved into an ultimate challenge. It holds extreme significance and a deeply personal connection for us. Crafted amidst the Come most here, stressful Force. conditions imaginable, I warmed up the seat for including you. the pandemic, war, relocation, cyber attacks, life threats, and more. Additionally, life threats. It's about yeah, I expect nothing less Stalker from degenerates who like PC Stalker One. Holy shit! What a PC shit community. game! What an absolute shit game! Receiving this award at the PC Gaming Show game. feels like a confirmation that Wait, we why did it dislike it so remain much? true to our vision and roots. Oh, he rage quit that this game, didn't he? This holds <laughs> extra significance for me. I understand that discussing somber topics during a gaming show might not be <coughs> ideal, but I'll take this opportunity to address the situation in my homeland. The war still goes on in Ukraine. Those he has blanked, I saw him blank. on the front lines, including GC employees, he are just blanked real there again. heroes. Not all of them were trained for this. They simply couldn't blink. turn away. Stalker 2 was important for us even before the war, but now it stands as a national product aiming to convey Ukraine's unbreakable spirit to the world. Today, we celebrate our victory here, while simultaneously Slava Ukraine. striving for our homeland's ultimate triumph from the future. I am overwhelmed with the joy to recognize that Stalker 2 entered the final phase of development. Fellow Stalkers will soon reunite in the zone once again. Thank you all we only take award. into account sure games that are imminent and, and we know a lot about. The six. Alden Ring DLC. Please enjoy. <laughs> oh, here are a few little game ads, so we can rip off indie divs. I don't know 
why they put that rule up. They should just allow any game. You asked me about my good luck charm. Remember? It's an empty shop. Decided to play soldier with me? They're all bald. Dimitri and I were just discussing a certain puzzle. We found in the zone. But we can't quite seem to get all the pieces to fit. Maybe you can figure it out. It reminded me that we used to be puppets. I took just one awkward step. And my whole world plunged into darkness. <laughs> I'm sorry, Strider. <laughs> Thank you. That was the day the Psy fields were turned off. Suddenly, the voice of Monolith was gone. I felt as if I was awakening from a years-long coma. And through the scope, we saw the body of an unknown soldier fall. We had a simple choice. Sit back. And just wait for another super emission. Or take a chance and get control of the anomalous energy. Now the phase animation pretty good. Only I didn't uh, choose that path. Unlike that you. Zelensky? I don't what? know. What? What the fuck is he talking about? How's that Zelensky? The Lensky sounds like this. Uh, ooh, three gift us. Hey, hit that guy with the pan. Thank you so much. Who was that? Hi, Hall Daniel. Thank you for the gifted subs. Darkle, darkle. Thank you for joining Let's us in counting TV down the PC gaming show most wanted. wanted. And thanks as well to our sponsors at Intel pump. for helping Thank us put you. on this broadcast. And remember, all the games featured in today's show can be Bayesian. found on the PC Gaming yes, Show yes. Steam page at pcgamer.com forward slash wish. The most wanted list will continue in 2024. The overflowing bounty of PC gaming does not quit, and neither will our judges. Mm -hmm. But before I'm then, we'll see I'm surprised they don't have to disclose they're getting paid the from the studios show to show the games. If That's right? the case. I find my way out of this bunker. They've locked me in, and I think Plop. they're about to turn the lights out. Uh oh. Thank you She's again dead. for watching. There you go, chat. Thanks, Mr. Force, for hosting. I hope you didn't mind me leeching off of you. Dank. Um, chat, I think here's the plan. I'm going to wrap up this stream here, and I have like 10 different DMs waiting me uh, that I got to get to. But uh, after that, uh, I could potentially hop on WoW for like grind an hour out or something. It's 9 p.m. I don't know how long Yabba's going for today. <laughs> Sponsor emails. No, I actually see E-Rob's message me. Everyone type other people. Forza. I think it's about our Clone Hero songs. Uh, <clears throat> sort of a pop, you guys. Guess sleep and get healthy. Uh, I'll see. I gotta. I gotta deal with all of these uh, messages, and then I'll see uh, if I have. If I do have time, I'm not gonna go live again. But I might stream on my alt account just because I know you're supposed to always uh, like record yourself playing well. So I might do that. But it sort of depends on how long. Um, Look, I'm. This is me looking. At, this is my Discord. I'm looking at my Discord here. I got that to look forward to. Stocky DM'd me. Um. All right. You guys take care. Thanks for watching today. And yeah, maybe I'll see you on the old channel. Other than that, I will be back again tomorrow. Chat, we're doing a crazy double Friday review tomorrow. All right? If you have something you bought on Black Friday, share it on the Discord channel. If you got your Spotify rap ready, share it on the Discord channel. And then what I want to do later, at some later point, I want to take all your top songs, put them in a playlist, and listen to that while leveling or something like that. Uh, so, yes, I will be back again tomorrow. <coughs> Hopefully feeling better. Probably not drinking tomorrow. Or definitely shouldn't be drinking tomorrow. But, uh... <clears throat> I'll be streaming at least and that's always something um, ADHD games and shit part 2 is he gonna stay live? I don't know who's gonna stay live here I see PSP's live with some kind of a secret stream 
and raid him too, but I don't I don't know how long this is. You know what? I'll raid someone that's never going offline, right? Annie Fuchsia. She's probably staying up playing WoW and stuff. Ahem. <clears throat> Uh, tell people to add Spotify link from the top songs. You could do that, or I can just have someone manually do it. And fuck, I don't know. Uh, probably doesn't matter at this point, does it? We're gonna have a bunch of people. Well, you didn't mean for the playlist. Amdor, three years. When Rocket League wrote to Grand Champ, Mr. Nim? That's a good question. Snoozemeister, 50 months prime. Welcome back. I have this idea that I'm, I wanna do, um, you know, after the move. <laughs> Um, try like a week where I try to actually play a bunch of games that are popular with other people that a bunch of people play shit ton but I just have never gotten into Rocket League would have to be at the top of the list I don't know what else maybe actual Dota 2 or uh, what are some games that are like massive but I like never touch him I mean League would have for the longest time League would have fit the bill but this year or was it last year I actually delved into League for a bit Disco Elysium. No, I'm talking about like online games mostly. Terraria. Yeah, I guess Terraria actually sort of. I don't know. The big, like the biggest games that everyone else, those kinds of games that everyone else seems to have played except for me. Uh, and then that's when I would try Rocket League. Every time I look at Rocket League, it just does not interest me. But um, yeah, I'd try it. All right. RuneScape, Path of Exile, Mario, Mario, me. I don't know. You guys can think about it. We'll talk about it more.